Son man, there's a lot of talk, you know, that apparently PBC offered Canelo Alvarez 100 million to fight Jamal Charlo and David Benavides. And apparently Canelo Alvarez turned the fight down. He turned, I mean, no, sorry, turned the 100 million down and he's apparently going to go to fight Bivol and Gennady Golovkin. What do you make of all of that? I think that's better for his legacy though, man. Why does he want to fight Jamal Charlo? Like, why would he want to fight Jamal Charlo and David Benavidez? You know, David Benavidez will get knocked out. People just hype fighters up, man. Just, oh yeah, he's got a bit of fast hands and, you know. David Benavidez hasn't even beaten better names than what Callum Smith or Billy Joe has. Like, who's Benavidez for? Benavidez hasn't even beaten nobody. He's beaten complete journeyman. He has. has is Benavidez even ever won a title before? Has he be, ever become yeah, a, world he champion? Was a world champion? Against two, who did he win it against? I can't remember, but I know he was a WBC yeah. champion. I can't remember, so it wasn't a guy that was tough, if we can't remember. Uh, look, the thing is, yeah, I personally want Canelo to fight Bivol and Triple G. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamal Charlo ain't going to beat Canelo. J J Jamal Charlo isn't going to beat Canelo. He doesn't have better skills than Canelo. He, just, he won't even beat Canelo. Uh, you know, he won't beat Canelo at his own game. He won't, he won't beat Canelo. Jamal Charlo doesn't... Pro doesn't Give Canelo no problems, you know. He ain't gonna knock cut the Canelo out, you know. Listen, you are the fight Dmitry Bivol and Gennady Gennady Golovkin, you know. It's better for his legacy, you know, if he fights those guys. Jamal Charlo, his whole career has just been based around fighting lower level guys. He's not even fought Android yet. He's not even fought a fighter like that yet, you know. He's been worming around fighting these guys like Jarrett Hurd. These guys are very, they're not that good. Those type of fighters, the average fighters. I think Brook would be, you know, people like that. Heard and if Brook, I think Brook stayed at one fifty four, whatever, to beat those guys. But are we talking about the guy at one sixty, right? What Jamal? Yeah, yeah, right. He's, in my opinion, he he's not. He needs to start fighting people like Andre. Start becoming, yeah, you know, he needs to he needs to step up now. He, he's fighting lower level guys. He's not fighting anyone that's moving the needle here. You know, he needs to start fighting people. He needs to look. How many times has Eddie Earn said that? All right, unify with Andre. Unify does. I don't even mind if it's on PBC. He doesn't want the fight. Then he always makes excuses. He doesn't want the fight against Andre, or otherwise he would have told Al Heyman, "Let's get him on the platform and let's make the fight." I want to become unified. He's never want the fight. He don't deserve to fight Canelo, right? And on Benavidez. He's a young pop in the game at the minute. Canelo's going to be long gone. I don't think Canelo will ever fight Benavidez, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and even if he does, I don't pick I don't pick Benavidez to win. What does Benavidez have to offer? How is he going to beat Canelo? He doesn't have a better chin than Canelo. And Canelo can punch, right? And I think ben Benavidez can be hurt by Canelo. I've seen Benavidez go down by a non-puncher. So if Canelo lands, it could be night out for him. So... You've got to look at these things. All these things matter. I think the better fight for Canelo is Triple G. and Well, firstly, Dimitri Bivol and then Triple G. Because I think that, I personally think the Dimitri Bivol fight is a lot more tougher because the guy is a heavier guy and he's undefeated. He's going to want it more. Don't, Jamal Charles undefeated, but he's not. He's not. He's not, you know. He, Canelo's already cleaned that weight up. Why is he going to fight Jamal Charlo for? For what? To get prove what? Jamal Charlo's not fought at 168 before. He's a 160 pounder. He's not moved up one weight class. You know, I would rather see him fight Dimitri Bivol and then go for the third fight against Golovkin. I think Golovkin deserves that third fight, by the way, because I think Golovkin won the first fight and I thought Canelo edged the second fight by at least a round or two, right? So there should have been a trilogy. I think Golovkin's been hard done by it, if I'm going to be honest. Because in my opinion, he won the first, although I don't know what people watch. Seriously, I don't know what people watch. The first fight, Golovkin won the whole middle of the fight, right? I had him winning by at least three, four rounds. I had the fight either 8-4, 9-3 to Golovkin. That's me being brutally honest. But I would love to see the trilogy, although I think Canelo would batter him this time, honestly. Because Golovkin's 40-something years old now. He And you've got to realise the style he has is a very, he's been hit a lot. And I don't know, I could even potentially get knocked out. You never know if he gets hit clean and gets hit in the right spot. Canelo might splatter him. You've got to realise... Golovkin. Yeah, I'm talking about Golovkin here. Because you've got to realise Golovkin's old, old now. Age does catch up. I don't see Golovkin winning this fight, I'm going to be honest. Hmm. When Golovkin fought Canelo the second time, he was old. When he fought Golovkin, uh, Canelo the first time, he was old. He wasn't a young pup. He was 36 years old then. 
when he fought Canelo the first time. Hmm. So, Salman, so if Canelo was to fight Charlo and Benavidez, how do you see those fights playing out? Two knockouts. He'll knock them both out. He knocks both of them out. He knocks both of them out. I'm very, very confident he knocks both of them out. How confident? 100%. He knocks them both out. Look, the thing is, he's on a roll right now. Who's Which fighter? Name me one fighter that's fighting four times a year that unified a whole division. Not unified, became the undisputed champion in one year. No one's doing it like Canelo. Canelo's on a different level. Like, there's not one fighter last year that fought four times. Name me one fighter that fought four times. His, his work ethic, his, his everything, you know. He's not even just doing boxing. He's becoming good at golf as well now. He's in another sport now. He's doing wonders in another sport. You know, he said he trains golf six hours a day as well. So the guy is... Really? Just, is that what he said? Yeah, the guy's a special... The guy's special. The guy's special, you know. The guy's really special. I, I, look... I how, how do you see those fights playing out then? Charlo, Canelo, just say first. Look, I think Charlo will give a good account of himself for six, seven rounds and then he's just going to get pasted. He's going to get... Look, the, to beat Canelo, you have to be something good. You have to be something special, like a Golovkin or someone on that nature or a Floyd Mayweather... I don't see these guys beating Canelo. They don't have, like, geez, Charlo. They, these guys are, like, okay fighters. Nothing special about them. When you look at them, I don't see anything special about Charlo. You know, I don't see anything special about Benavidez. They, they he's got was, fast hands in it, Benavidez. Yeah, big. He's, got, he's got a bit of fast hands, but, you know, there's a, like, as Mayweather said, there's a guys that have a lot of talent out there. But that doesn't necessarily mean they can adjust to every single style and, you know, Canelo's proven throughout his career that he's been able to adjust to most styles and get the victory, like how Mayweather did. He's becoming on that level now, Canelo. He's able to adjust to most styles and get the victory, whether it's a boxer, whether the guy comes forward. You know, he's showing those traits now. He can be any fighter with any style. You know, a bit like how Mayweather was. If you come forward, I can beat you. If you want to box with me, I'll beat you. If you want to bang with me, I'll, I'll box you. you. You know, and Canelo's becoming that now. You know, Canelo's becoming that complete fighter where, you know, he can do it all. He can do it all. He can beat fighters of any, whether you come forward, whether you punch harder than him, whatever. He can beat you. He's got the skill set. He's developed a skill set over the last seven years since he lost from Floyd. Bernard Hopkins said the best thing that ever happened that ever happened to Canelo was a Floyd loss, that schooling from Floyd. Because that's made him the fighter he is today. Because he's learned a lot from that. He's learned a lot from that and he's developed and he's become a lot better. You know, people that say that, oh, he's not better. Well, they, they don't really like... Look, I'll explain one thing, right? Canelo was fighting Caleb Plant, right? One thing he learned from the Mayweather fight, right? And as soon as Canelo would throw his left hook on Caleb Plant, like to avoid the right hand coming in, this is what he learned from when, May, when he fought Mayweather, right? He would, he would parry, he would use his left glove to make sure that Caleb Plant couldn't throw his right hand. Right? And that was what he learned from when he fought Floyd, when Floyd was trying to counter him off the ropes. At that point, he was getting caught with him all the time, just getting caught, caught, caught. But he learned that, and he's obviously, you know, he's developed. And that, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, people that don't know the sport, they don't, re they don't see these things. But I was watching a video and I realized, that, oh, wow, this is actually true. You know, look, look what he's developed here to, you know, what someone that wants to counter him off the ropes, they can't because he, he uses his left hand to, you know, make sure they can't throw their right. So little things like that. And there's probably so many other things that he's developed. Canelo's a world-class fighter, I'm being honest. You know, whatever anyone says about him, he's proven it. You know, he can adapt to any style. And in my opinion, you've got to say that he's a pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the world at the minute. Um, you know, he's going through weight classes. Listen, if he becomes undisputed at 175, there's, he's going to be one of the greatest fighters of all time, I'm being honest, because he's going through weight classes Golovkin hasn't done this. Andre Ward hasn't done this. Going through weight classes like this, if he becomes undisputed at one seven five, you've got to give him his props. Will he? Will he? Will he start? Will we start have to put him as you know one of the greatest ever in the sense that yeah, I think he's up there then with Mayweather, uh, Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, all of them. I think he's up there with every single one of those guys. He's one of them. Hmm. Um, if he's already not one of them right now. Um, this guy is something, I think Fernando Vargas, I think he said that Canelo's the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, even from, even now. He's saying that. Mm. He's saying he's the greatest fighter already. Canelo is a very special fighter. And I just can't see 
You, well, let's break down the Bibo fight then. How do you think that one goes? I think that's a very good fight. It's a tough one, isn't that's it? That's a tough one because Bibble's tough. Bibble's strong. Bibble can box. Bibble's quick. You know, and he's a lot bigger. And he's gonna obviously he's in his prime. Mm. You know, Canelo. He's a good body puncher. He you know he counters very well. But this isn't fighting Kovalev. An old you know old Kovalev. This isn't that. This isn't that. This is going to be a tough war. This is going to be a hard fight. Canelo's going to need his punching power and he's going to need his resilience and his body punching more than ever to slow Bivol down. Because you've got to realise when you move up weight, your punch power has your punch power diminishes because you're not a natural 175. Even an even a out of prime Kovalev that was completely out of shape took Canelo 11 rounds. So you've got to realise Bivol has a very... All those styles make fights. Bivol has a good chance here. Bivol has a really good chance. He's a big lump. And he's quick and he's elusive. So he's got a good chance in this fight to, you know, cause an upset here. Cause an upset. Canelo's daring to be great. And Bivol could just change his life forever. If he can beat Canelo, I think it'll be an upset. But the thing is, if you look at Bivol's physical attributes, is it really an upset? Mm. Would it be an upset? Because you've got to realise Canelo's daring to be great. He's going up weight categories, you know. It's like one year he was 168, now and the next year he's moved to 175. Imagine if one year you become undisputed at one way and then another year you become undisputed at another way. It's crazy to even think that. But I think I think that fight, I think Canelo can knock Bivola, but it's not going to be early. It's not going to be early. It's going to be late. It'll have to be late. I don't see Bivol knocking Canelo out, but Bivol could outwork Canelo as well because Bivol's quick and Bivol's elusive. And if Canelo's shots can't really trouble Bivol, then it could be, you just never know. You just never know because Canelo's daring to be great. Any of these fights for Canelo, he could lose. Arta Beto, Biev, you know, the one, the two I think he could lose is Bivol and Arta Beto, Biev. I don't think he'll lose to Joe Smith because I think he's a weaker out of those, out of those guys. Right? Out of the champions. I think he's a probably weaker one. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But if he does take that Dimitri Bivol fight, I give Canelo props because he it's just every time he's just proven he's daring to be great. And th these people that keep saying he's cherry picking, if he goes in there against a 175 in prime champion, how can you say he's cherry picking? You can't say he's cherry. You've got to give him his props, right? Well, what? At the end of the day, he's going up weight classes. The reason why a lot of people like in the boxing world don't like Golovkin because he didn't move up weight. He just stuck to 160. He never moved up to fight Andre Ward at that point. Whereas Canelo is daring to be great. That's the difference between him and Golovkin. Although, yeah, Golovkin might have beaten Canelo in the first, but that's irrelevant. Canelo is daring to be great. And you've got to give him respect for that. If he goes up to win Dimitri Bivol, in my eyes, he's a 10 times better fighter than Golovkin. Regardless, because he's, he's, he's pushing the boundaries. He's pushing the boundary. He's seeing how great he really is. And I just personally think, you know, you know, whatever praise you do give Canelo, it's not enough because he's, 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 he's you know, he's going through weight classes now. You know, he's trying to prove that he, he can go up and beat fighters of a bigger stature. But let's see. Let's see what happens. But I think Canelo, if I have to go for it, I, I've got to go with Canelo right now. Canelo by knockout, late stoppage, probably... Championship rounds 10, 11, or 12. I think Canelo could stop him to a black like a brutal body shot or body shot that sets up a good head shot. Um, but I think it'll be a great fight if he was to fight Bivol. Um, Who was the tougher fight, Bivol or Better Biev? I think it's a hard one because you've got to realize both come with different styles. Bivol's going to be more boxing, more elusive, more, you know, jabby, jabby. But Baterbiev is going to be more, it's going to be more of a brutal fight against Baterbiev, where it's going to be inside action. It's just going to be them swinging it off type of thing. So if you're asking what's going to be the more brutal fight, I think the better Baterbiev will be the more brutal fight. If you're asking me what's going to be the harder fight, I think the Bivol fight, because I think Bivol will be harder to catch. Whereas I think Baterbiev will be in the pocket trying to trade off. So I think Bivol will be the harder fight, but Terbia will be more the more brutal fight. Hmm. Hmm. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, 
let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave your thoughts. Do you agree with what Salman was saying? Uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe and share the videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.